Hello friends welcome back to another video so today we will create a bluetooth module car with arduino so without wasting any time let's get started now connect these two motor wires to the motor driver and then connect these two motor wires to the motor driver and screw them tightly Now take a Arduino and then connect 4 jumper wires to the motor driver Now connect pin 1 of motor driver to the pin 12 of Arduino and pin 2nd will be connected to pin 11 3rd will be connected to 10 and 4th will be connected to pin 9 of Arduino Now take a bluetooth module and then connect 4 jumper wires to it. Connect jumper wires to the pin of BCC, ground, uh, RX and TX. VCC will be connected to 5 volt of Arduino and ground will be connected to ground. RX will be connected to TX of Arduino and TX will be connected to RX of Arduino. Now connect one jumper wire to the 5 volt of motor driver and this jumper wire will be connected to the V in of Arduino and then connect two jumper wires with the ground of motor driver one will be connected to the Arduino and another ground will be connected to the battery. Now connect positive wire of a battery to the 12 volt of motor driver. Now take two blue LEDs and one white LED. And connect them like this.
Now take one buzzer and connect positive pin to the pin 5 of Arduino and negative pin to the ground. So moving towards programming part, code link I have given in the description so you can get it from there. As you can see, pin 1 of motor driver is connected to pin 9 of Arduino. Pin 2nd of motor driver is connected to pin 10. Pin 11 of pin 3rd of motor driver is connected to pin 11 of Arduino. Pin 4th of motor driver is connected to pin 12. I have used 3 LEDs here. 2 blue LEDs and 1 white. White LED is connected to pin 9 which is for forward light and 2 blue LEDs which is for backward light. One blue LED is connected to pin 7 and another one is connected to pin 13. Here I have used a buzzer for a horn which is connected to 5 pin of RD. So moving towards void setup, uh, I have used motor out motor as output, 3 LEDs is used as output and buzzer is also used as output. So if the value is F which means forward then motor both for both motor will be high for forward and if the value is v which means backward then backward motor will be high and if the value is l which means left then left motor will be high and if the value is right which means right motor will be high as you can see and then if the value is s which means all the motor will be stopped so w which means white light here when you will press uh, w then front LED will be on and if you press uh, small w then light will be off and if the value is u then the blue light which means backward light it will be on and if the value is small u then backward light will be off and if the value is v which means the horn will be on and if the value is v small v then horn will be off so that's all about programming now go to serial monitor and as you can see it's showing S which means your car is stopped at this moment and when I will press this button it's showing F which means forward as we have defined in the programming and if I press this button then it's showing B which means backward your car is going backward at this moment and if I press this button which means right that means right motor is high at this time and if I press this one button which means left, left motor is high and when I press this which means your white LED which is front one as you can see it is showing W which means white LED is high and if I press this button which means U backward LED is high and if I press this this is for orange as you can see it is V which means buzzer is high as it means so that's all about it and after uploading program that's how it looks